Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Morby, and I'm back again with another guide. This time I'm going to be completing Octonaut. This is a new shooter up that popped up on the Xbox store recently. There really wasn't much info about this game and everywhere I looked it showed me the other game Octonaut. So I decided, you know what, it's cheap enough, I'll give it a download and I want to check it out because it looked like it should be an easy one. And I was correct. As I said, this is a cute little shoot em up, nothing really hard about it. You should easily be able to 100% this in just over an hour. If you're looking for a specific achievement, please check the description down below as I've time to dump them all individually. Also, if you guys could give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button, that will help me out tons. Now let's save the world as a cute little octopus. Before we start, I wanted to quickly mention the guns in this game. The majority of them are really handy, so don't fret too much about which one you have. The two I would avoid though is the flamethrower and invincibility, as the other guns are far superior. Also, invincibility does not do a lot of damage compared to the guns, so completely ignore that one. But enough of that, let's do this. Okay, the first achievement we're going to be getting is Small Fisher. We will more than likely unlock this one on our first level. All we have to do is kill 50 aliens. Simple, right? Just make sure you clean up as much as possible on the first level. There are way more than 50 enemies on this level, so you should be able to easily do it. Many of them do come in groups, you should be able to pick up multiple off at once. But yeah, there's not much to be said about this one. Uh, blast away and you'll definitely get this one on the first level. Okay, the next set of achievements can be done in any order. As you play through the levels, you will notice there are pickups in the shapes of gems. We are tasked with picking up 12 of each colour, and each colour has its own achievement. If you shoot the gem before picking them up, you will change the colour of them. They will start off as green, then yellow, then red, then violet, and then finally purple. And this will happen on an endless loop. So once you shoot purple, it will go back to green. It is probably best to start on green, but as you're shooting through the levels, like you may hit the gems and you'll pick up like yellow and green on the way. So it really doesn't matter what order you do this in. What I would suggest is uh, pick a colour and just try and commit to it as much as possible. Once the achievement pops, move on to the next colour. If you are struggling at all, bear in mind these enemies on screen now drop 5 gems per kill. This can be a really good way in collecting a specific colour, or going for the shiny diamonds achievement which I'll be talking about in a minute. But yep, get collecting. The next achievement we're going to be going for is King Crushed. This will be our first boss achievement. He isn't too much trouble. You want to be aiming for his eye throughout the fight. He will start by shooting clouds at you. These are easily dodgeable. And then he'll move to the left of the screen. For this part, just sit under him while he's shooting away and he won't hit you. After this phase, he'll slowly start rotating counterclockwise, getting faster and faster as he closes into the center of the screen. Again, this is easily dodgeable. If it's too much trouble, use the dodge ability. I'll be honest, when I was playing this game, I completely forgot the dodge button existed most of the time. So you can easily do it without that. But if you do find you're having some trouble, just hit the B button and get into the background and survive a few shots. Repeat these phases until his hands detach from his body. He will repeat the same phases, but now you have to watch out for his hands bouncing around the build. He will repeat the same phases, but now you do have to watch out for his hands bouncing around the stage. Keep hitting his eye and he will eventually blow up giving you the achievement King Crushed. Most of the bosses in this game are quite easy to get through with the exception of one, but we won't have to face him to get the 100%. As you play through the game, you'll notice that sometimes the enemies that you kill will drop a little bit of cake. This tasty treat will give us 80 HP every time we pick one up, and in later levels you'll find yourself praying that them annoying enemies will drop them. To get the Cake Baker achievement, we will need to pick up 20 slices of cake. This one is really dependent on how lucky you are on health drops. I got this one later on in the game, but if you're lucky on the cake drops from the enemies, I'm sure you can get it quite early on. I didn't really aim to get this one as I knew I'd pick up more than 20 throughout my playthrough. So I made the other achievements my priority. Once you have 20 slices of cake, the Cake Baker achievement will pop. As you're going for the Cake Baker achievement, you should also work towards this next achievement, Toy Collector. For this achievement, you'll need to pick up 20 weapons. I assume this was a bowl of rice, but apparently it's a toy. Pick up 20 of these, just like the slices of cake, and you'll get the achievement. Again, you will definitely get this on a full run, 
but it is very dependent on RNG. Some people may get it earlier on than others. You've just got to hope the enemy is dropping that cake and dropping that rice. For just desserts, we're going to have to fight another boss. But don't worry, this boss is super easy. It's probably the easiest boss in this game. As you see in this fight, I had the cannonball equipped, but any weapon is fine. Take out the smaller balls surrounding the boss quick time. One by one, they should be falling off. The boss will move around the map slowly trying to hit you, but it's super easy enough to avoid him. And you can keep on shooting as you're doing it. Once there isn't any smaller rocks left on the screen, let's concentrate on that big rock. Keep on hitting it and you'll break its shell. And lo and behold, it's a Dreamcast logo. Simply keep chipping away at it until it'll explode. As I said, this is probably one of the easiest bosses in the game. It doesn't really pose much threat. You've just got to move around like in the corners. It, yeah, it's super easy. But yeah, kill the rock and yeah, the achievement's all yours. The next murder count achievement is 500 kills. You should get this one just after the Just Desserts boss. Like I said before, this one will come in time. You should really focus on the other achievements. One of the main goals in this game is to kill enemies and get through the level. So you'll be racking up the kills as you're blasting through the levels. Okay, Mechanoid now, and this is the last boss fight we'll need to do for an achievement. To get Mechanoid, we will have to show this robot eye who's boss. We are going to have to shoot the center of the boss to damage him. To begin, it will start moving up and down the screen, shooting fast bursts of bullets at you. This can be easily sidestepped. Don't forget you can also use the dodge maneuver. During this phase, make sure you're putting as much damage as you can into the eye. Some weapons may be better than others, such as the shuriken on this one. After phase one, it will start shooting two lasers that will bounce on the edge of the screen. If you stand where I am now, you will be fine. There will be a few bullets flying your way from the eyeball, but they are quite slow and it's easily manageable. And that's pretty much the whole fight. It's got two phases in it. Repeat these steps and the eye will be no more. And that will be our very last boss achievement. Now there's two more to get. Okay, we're now on our final kill count achievement, 1000 kills. You should get this one when you hit level 7. When I recorded these achievements, I got them all on one run, so if you clear up to level 7, this one should pop. If not, you will definitely get it on level 8, as there are way more than 1000 enemies from level 1 to level 8. There isn't really a quick method for these kill achievements, you just have to play the game once I guess and you'll get them all. But yeah, once you've got them 1000 kills, you'll have 3 nice achievements under your belt. And last but not least, Shiny Diamonds. This is the only achievement where I had to start a new run to collect. For this achievement, we will need to collect a total of 120 gems. We should already have collected at least 60 from the previous achievements, so we should only need 40. More than likely, if this achievement doesn't pop when you complete the game, you're only a few off like I was. I began another run, and now because I was a lot more familiar with the game, I could calmly blast through the levels, making sure I pick up all the gems in sight, and making sure I don't forget any. If you do level 1 to level 8, there's a good chance you've picked up the bulk of this achievement. Sadly, my achievement tracker didn't actually tell me how much I'd left, so I just had to play the game until it popped. Thankfully, it was only half a level. And that's how you 100% octonaut. Thank you so much for watching my video guys, I really hope I helped you out. If I didn't anyway, please let me know down in the comment section, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'm uploading new guides all the time, but for now guys, I've been Morby, and I'll see you later.